So, the question about Christ's identity is something that Muslims and Christians have debated in this corner again and again and again. And I want to do a talk that looks at the same question from a different angle. That looks at the same question, not about whether Christ said that he's divine, which assumes that that needs to be proven, but whether a mortal man or a mere prophet could say the things that Christ says. So that's the question that I want to examine. Could a man, a mortal man, or a mere prophet say the things that Jesus Christ says? So I want to start by reading John chapter 6, verses 41 to 51. And I want you to ask yourself the question, could a mere prophet say these words? Could a mere man say these words? It goes on. At this, the Jews there began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he say, I came down from heaven? Now clearly, could a mere man say those words, that I came down from heaven? Which one of you who hear this recording, or can hear my voice, will say that you came down from heaven? Something tells me you won't, and you don't, and you shouldn't. And the reason is, because you know that you didn't come down from heaven. It continues. Stop grumbling amongst yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent him draws, the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. Wait a minute. Which mortal man or mere prophet can claim to raise people up on the last day? Which mortal man can say that? Which mere prophet can claim to be the source of the resurrection? It goes on. It is written in the prophets. They will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Now notice, Christ has just interchanged the word heaven with the word God. I have come down from heaven, the one who comes from God. So which mortal man or mere prophet can say that they have come from heaven, that they raise people on the last day, and that they are from God and that no one can see God except that they ha have seen the one who comes from God. Only he has seen the Father. Which mortal man, which mere prophet can claim that they have seen God? Muhammad doesn't make that claim. He says that Allah was veiled in light. So he doesn't claim to have seen him, but Jesus Christ claims to have seen him. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. Christ is saying that he is the bread of life that if you eat of him, you will have eternal life, that he will raise you up on the last day, that he comes from heaven, that he comes from God. Which mortal man, which prophet can say those things? I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh which I will give for the life of the world. Can a prophet offer you his flesh as the source of eternal life? No. No prophet, no mere prophet can do that. No mere man can do that. Muslims demand of us proof. 
of where Jesus calls himself divine. I'm reversing the question and asking the question, can a mere prophet claim what Jesus claims? Can a mere man say what Jesus said? And the answer is obviously not. Yes, sister. They are false prophets. Muhammad is a false prophet. So let me continue, sister. Let, let me continue, sister. It's James, it's all right. You don't have to say that. It's all right. Yeah? Thank you, sister. So in Psalm 110, verse 1, it reads, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. This was a Davidic psalm. It was a psalm of David. And Jesus quotes it in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 35 to 37, where he says, While Jesus was teaching in the temple courts, he asked, Why do the teachers of the law say that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself said, speaking by the Holy Spirit, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. How then can he be his son? Now think about this for a second. Jesus Christ, who Muslims say is just a prophet, is saying that the Messiah was there at the time of David and that Yahweh called him Adonai. Yahweh called the Messiah Adonai. Jesus claims to be that Messiah and he says that the Messiah was there at the time of David and was the Lord of David. Which mere human being, which mere prophet can make that claim? Muhammad can't make that claim. He was just a prophet according to Islam, like all the other prophets. No human being can make that claim. Can any of you make that claim? No, of course not. But Jesus is making the claim that he is the Messiah and that the Messiah was there at the time of David and was the Lord of David. No mere prophet, no mere man could make that claim. Clearly Jesus is more than just a prophet. In John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus said, Before Abraham was, I am. Now this claim, I am, is claiming to be present before Abraham was born. What mere man could claim to be present before Abraham was born? What other prophet claimed that he was present before Abraham was born? None, none at all. And so clearly, Jesus' claims do not suit someone who is merely a man, who is only a prophet. It reads in John 17, 5, and also, how could Jesus say, that's not what's in the gospel, this is in the gospel. Glorify me with thy glory, which I had before the world was. Jesus is claiming to be present before the world itself. What mere man could claim to be present before the world was? No one. Not Abraham, not Moses, not David, and certainly not Muhammad. But Jesus claims in the very passage that is the favorite passage of the Dawah team, that Jesus claims to be present before the world was. Before the world was, he claims to share in the glory of God the Father.
Tell me, what prophet alone, what mere man alone could claim to share in the glory of God? None. So these words are not befitting of someone who is just a prophet or just a man. Jesus is clearly claiming to be more than just a prophet or just a man. We read in, bear with me one second. Psalm 34 verse three. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. The Psalms talk about glorifying God. Jesus claims to share the glory of God. Hallelujah. How can these be the words of a mere man? How can these be the words of a mere prophet? Clearly, Jesus is more than a mere man. He is more than a mere prophet. We read in Daniel 7, verse 13 to 14. As I looked on in the night visions, one like the Son of Man was coming with the clouds of heaven. He reached the everlasting one and was presented to him. Dominion, glory, and kingship were given to him. All peoples and nations of every language must serve him. His dominion is everlasting dominion that shall not pass away, and his kingship one shall not be destroyed. This is a prophecy that Christ speaks about himself in Mark chapter 14, where he says, in response to the high priest who asked, are you the Messiah, the son of the blessed one? And Jesus replies, I am, said Jesus. And you will see the son of man sitting at the right hand of the mighty one and coming on the clouds of heaven. The high priest tore his clothes why do we need any more witnesses? He has asked. You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? Jesus claimed to be the Son of Man prophesied in Daniel 7. Daniel 7 is a king everlasting. What human being will be king of the world that all nations should serve him and not God directly? but serve him as king of the world, as an everlasting king. These words are not befitting someone who is just a man or is just a prophet. Jesus is claiming to be more than a man and more than a prophet. Yes, a prophet, yes, a man, but more than a prophet and more than a man. Could Muhammad say that he was the king of the world? No. Could Muhammad say that all peoples should bow down and worship and serve him? No. But Jesus is ascribing these words to himself. Say again, sir. Because they just serve Allah, which proves my point. Jesus is claiming to be Allah because Jesus is saying bow down and serve him. So that is Jesus claiming to be more than a man, more than a prophet. These words are not befitting someone who is just a man or just a prophet and I challenge anyone to show me how these words can and do apply to someone who is only a man and only a prophet. Any takers? None. Any questions? Okay. I can take other questions now. Uh, 
talking about now. I didn't hear what you heard. Oh, sorry, no, it's all no, I've got a problem with um, God torturing, you know, like, I think it's an indoctrination that the church brought, brought in, or the crusades, um, to make people believe. Whereas when I look into the Bible, I just find that it's, the original words are like the common grave. Like, I feel the punishment is... Um, it's death, and I think that's just, you know, the death penalty like in America. I just think torture's wrong. I think a lot, all religions have put people off God, and they've made God look, um, I don't know, unloving. He's a God of love, I believe. So, let me reply to that. Yeah.